Good evening, this is Bill from Auto Europa Naples and today I have this very attractive 2006 Mercedes-Benz E350 sedan. Uh, this is gonna fall under what I call the great transportation category. Uh, you know, car's getting a little bit older. It's a, you know, 2006 model, so many years have passed. Of course, I don't think I've ever personally owned a car newer than 2006, but eh, maybe I'm a little bit different from the rest. Uh, anyway, you can see it's finished in brilliant silver outside. It's got uh, charcoal MB Techs inside. And when I say it's terrific transportation, that is an absolute fact. I mean, you're talking about a Mercedes-Benz E-Class that you know definitely costs north of $50,000. Uh, it's probably safer, uh, you know, the, the way it's been put together and with its features than many newer cars is. It's very good looking, of course, because it's a Mercedes product that's been very well designed. And uh, of course, uh, everything just looks nice and fresh and really clean all around. It's got nice low miles on there. Uh, you can see it's got twin spoke five star alloys, very fresh continental tires, uh, beautiful oval headlight assemblies up front uh, with the uh, projected beams, nice fog lamps down low, lovely star on the, uh, on the hood, lovely hood star. Uh, you know, nice and straight all around, finished in signature brilliant silver outside Mercedes-Benz. Uh, you know, signature color. And uh, what a great practical car, you know, point A to point B, style, comfort, loveliness, and uh, of course, tremendous uh, practicality. Uh, let's start inside the trunk. So here we have a very nice big trunk. Uh, plenty of room to fit golf clubs in there, Costco shopping, uh, you know, boxes of just about anything you can think of. It's got the original floor mats, which are nice to see. They're still with the car, shows that it's had pretty good ownership. You got little nice touches like a 12 volt outlet there, a little cargo net to put stuff. Uh, down here, you open this up and everyone says, oh my God, it doesn't have a spare tire. Well, now you see I've got my camera there. It does have a spare tire. Uh, underneath there and also a Mercedes battery which is nice to see when someone pays way more for a battery than they have to it means they probably change their oil as well uh, stole the original toolkit there and everything just nice and proper so uh, you know exactly what you want to see in the trunk of a car like this have a look under the hood All right, so under here, we're gonna find a V6 engine, 3.5 liters, 268 horsepower. Uh, this engine was current all the way through 2012. It's absolutely bulletproof, silky smooth, uh, nice power curve. That's made it do a seven speed uh, automatic transmission, so it turns in pretty good gas mileage. And, uh, you know, everything just lovely under the hood. Uh, you know, this has been such a fantastic motor for Mercedes. They use it in just about every car. And uh, they put a lot of research development into it. And uh, it just runs really nice. Love that hood star. Land, sea, and air. Uh, Mercedes is going to dominate on all three. And that's what the pointy stars are all about. All right, here in the back, you can see everything lovely. Beautiful black. Uh, material it's mint uh, three shoulder belts you got uh, power sunscreen back there this one has the optional sunscreens on the windows so uh, you'll find it's a very comfortable place to sit also pretty good leg room for uh, taller guys they're not gonna have a problem there and great little knee cutout so when they're sitting in there if they're really tall their knees can go right into there and give them just a little bit extra in terms of uh, in terms of space up front lovely and again that's you know part of the reason a used mercedes makes such a good uh practical car to own particularly a car like a c or an e-class because they really are tremendously reliable in a way that you know an sl or an s might not be uh, you get all the luxury that you would have paid you know the fifty thousand plus for in 06 well you still get a price that's not terribly far off from what a used honda accord might give you so it really does represent a fantastic bargain in the car world uh, you can see it has beautiful uh, rich wood on the doors it has dual power seats with uh, memory on both sides uh, your power windows, your trunk down here. You can see all the uh, stitching. Everything is just really nice and tight and proper. Uh, this car has been very well maintained. Here you can see automatic headlamps, uh, front bucket seat, lovely and supportive. Uh, very, very nice and proper. We also have two keys for this one. So there you go. You don't have to fight for one. Let's fire it up. 
All right, you see that six cylinder comes right to life, very nice and smooth. Uh, you got a very nicely laid out instrument cluster there. You got a clock, you got a tack, you got your speedo, uh, you got your temp gauge on the right, your fuel gauge on the left, and you can see those rats in the service department didn't bother topping up the tank. So of course they've got me to do that. I'll just, don't worry guys, I'll go put fuel in it. Uh, using these little buttons on the steering wheel, you can scroll through the different features, you know, the radio, uh, any messages, mess with your settings, trip computer, temp display, that sort of thing. And there you see just 58,000 miles on the clock. So, uh, you know, this thing has a ton of life left in it. Uh, you got, again, your automatic headlights there. You want to turn them on, pull once for the front fogs. Uh, pull twice for the rear fog. Don't do that if you're just driving around unless there is fog because it looks silly. It's like you have one brake light on in the back and uh, otherwise just leave it on the automatic setting. Uh, over here you've got dual side climate control, his and hers, hers and his. Uh, you can have the cold side hot, the hot side cold, uh, adjust the fan, you know, whatever you need. Mercedes-Benz in-dash uh, <clears throat> command unit. It's very tricky because it gives you things like nav and sat, which frankly this car doesn't have. So you click nav, navigation unavailable. You click sat, it's not there. Uh, you know, they did change that and made it so you didn't have the buttons without the features. But back in 06, that's what those rats did. So it was confusing to people. Uh, under here, you've got this fantastic little secret in-dash CD changer, kind of a Star Trek panel there. Uh, that you can load them up, six CDs in the dash, nice stuff. Uh, this runs your rear sunscreen up and down. And while we're there, look at that great mood lighting. All that's adjustable from the uh, inside the car. Uh, this will run the rear headrest down. This is your, uh, your four-way flashers, lock and unlock, and the electronic stability program. That's kind of a very advanced traction control. Uh, down here, nice leather and wood shifter. You can see the wood in this car is in great condition. Uh, it has window tint, which I think has really helped save the wood from any kind of fading. It is just rich and glossy and perfect. Uh, you roll this guy back, you have some cup holders there. Uh, you've got Mercedes-Benz Embrace, the I for information, the wrench for service. Works a little bit like OnStar uh, in conjunction with that SOS button here. So. Uh, even if you don't subscribe to Embrace, you press that, you're going to get an angry German woman uh, coming on wondering what the hell you want. Uh, here's a self-dimming uh, mirror. You've got Homelink garage door underneath. Uh, down here in the dash, you've got a uh, great little place to store your stuff. Uh, in the glove box, you've got a nice set of books to go with the two keys. Uh, up top, you've got a big power moonroof. Very, very nice, and uh, everything is working really, really well in here. And of course, you do have an ashtray. Never been used in this car, but if you want to use it as a 12-volt outlet, you can. Have a look at that. Not cigarette one. And away we go. So E-classes are just absolutely lovely. They're not too small, they're not too big. They handle very, very well. They've got just the right amount of power. They've got nice, precise steering, uh, fantastic braking. Uh, you know, all the stuff that goes into making a Mercedes-Benz a great car uh, is here in this very easy to afford 06 uh, E-class with low miles. So. Uh, you know, you can be very smart owning a car like this. You got, uh, you know, really high-end features and safety for a pretty affordable price. Goes down the road nice and smooth. Look at that Cadillacs up there. I love Cadillacs, always have. Uh, no vibration from the wheels, no pulsing from the brakes. Transmission shifts nice and proper. And everything just absolutely lovely. So, again, if you're looking for a great, uh, you know, daily driver, uh, you know, a fantastic condo car to throw in a garage down here, uh, you know, for any reason at all, if you're looking for good, safe, affordable transportation, then uh, this would be something you'd want to consider. It's spacious, luxurious, comfortable, reliable, and uh, very, very nice to drive. So, 2006 Mercedes Benz E350 sedan. Uh, just 58,000 miles on the clock, everything nice and proper. Uh, thanks so much for having a look. We appreciate it. We'll see you with the next one. Take care.